Hey everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Philippine Adventure. Um, I hope everybody's doing well during this hard time that, we're, that the whole world seems to be having. Um, I look a little pink, uh, forgive me. We've got a red ceiling and I want to do this outside where there's better light. Um, I hope you like our new setup. Uh, we got some photographs, I'm not sure what not sure which side the photographs are on or all around me haven't decided yet um, this is a new setup for our our monthly expenses and I'm calling this the March 2020 quarantine expenses for the uh, this month uh, so let's get right into it okay so the biggest thing everyone wants to know about here is rent now we have a, you can hear him in there, we have a two bedroom, <laughs> two bedroom, one bath uh, apartment here. It's got our, it's got a private gate, private place to, to park Bluey. We've got a, we call it dirty kitchen. You can cook out, outside, out back. It's got a full sink and everything outside. Um, it's very clean, very nice, uh, very cozy. Um, Mary's getting into these cactus. She likes cactus for some reason. She's putting a lot of cactus up on the window seal. Uh, I don't know if I can show you these or not. You see all those cactus? All these cactus here. And we have another window over behind us. There's another window on the other side, which are lined up cactus also. She likes cactus. So anyway. Let's get right into our, our rent, our, our expenses. I'm starting to ramble here. Our rent for our apartment here, it's 8,000 pesos or $157.43. Our electric usually runs around seven or 8,000 pesos a month, but we've had uh, family staying with us because of the lockdown. And our electric bill was 9,500 pesos or $88.56. Excuse me just for a moment. Gotta have my tea. Alrighty. Water. We have two kinds of waters in the Philippines, as most of you uh, folks know. We have uh, drinking water, and then we have water for everything else from laundry, showering, yada, 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 doing dishes. Our water out of our faucet, that is 500 pesos a month this month and it uh, is about nine dollars and 84 cents our drinking water are those big blue containers i don't have one to show you um they're like 10 gallons i believe in a blue container like you see in, in like the office the show the office they're, they're very popular in, in office settings we had six of those we usually with just me and mary and and uh, or me and ann and yeah, just me and Ann, usually it's uh, one or two a month. But uh, this month, since we have family over, we had we went through six of those, which came to a total of $1.77. They usually run to, they, you take them to a station up the road here, I did a video on them, they wash them out with soap and water, then they fill them with uh, purified water. Um, 30, it's uh, 15 pesos per jug, so it's not, I can't even give you an estimate dollars USD to 15 or 15 pesos because 50 pesos is a, is a dollar so I'm not good at math you guys can kind of figure it out if you like uh, Wi-Fi that's a huge one to me because I also get my American channels I get my movie because I'm a movie buff I love movies plus I love being on the internet and doing this kind of stuff so my Wi-Fi 2,389 pesos which is medium to high side here in the Philippines uh, so monthly that's forty seven dollars and one penny gaso now gaso for us in America is propane they cook on propane they cook on electric stoves or propane we happen to have propane uh, stove so that usually lasts about a month a month and a half uh, depending how much cooking she does so the gaso or propane is 800 pesos or $15.74. Now we have gas for Bluey, gasoline to go places. Um, we filled up actually two months ago and I still have a half a tank of, of gasoline because well we can't go nowhere because of the 
quarantine, we're not even allowed to leave our um, our barangay. So no gasoline for, for March. Groceries, now our groceries did go up, not because we have uh, family staying with us, but our grocery went up because the price of food went up. We used to get only, uh, we, set, uh, we set aside 16,000 pesos. Well, it jumped up to 18,000 pesos. One, because Liam is in pull-ups now, not diapers. The pull-ups are a little more expensive, which he is potty trained, by the way. Um, so our groceries went to 18,000 pesos uh, for March, which was $354.22. Now that's for the whole month. That's not just for, you know, today or tomorrow. That's all our dry goods. That's like our canned foods and toilet papers and, you know, dish soap, all the soaps, everything. So $354 a month for that. Now extras, extras are like when we run out of bread, or uh, this month we had to run and get a, a thing of diapers. So we at, we, we kind of guessed on that. It's about 2,000 pesos or about $39. So and that was it. So health wise, or health, health care for uh, the family here. Uh, it's only good if for the emergency room. It doesn't cover going to the doctor's office and getting checked up. That usually runs around three or 400 pesos, about eight bucks to 10 bucks. So. Um, that's just right out of pocket. That's for the, the the visit to the doctor, and then you pay about twenty dollars for the medications, whatever you need. But if you go to the emergency room, that's that's usually five thousand pesos just for them to let you stay in the hospital up front. But we have health care, which pays a huge chunk of that, and that costs us five hundred pesos a month, or. Uh, nine dollars and eighty four cents I believe it is so yeah that so that's now again these 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 bills are bills these expenses here these cover our bills these cover just the living the, the main things we need food water health you know that's it and that's if you stay home all day I a lot of people spend money on computers or resorts or you know whatever um, we don't do that. I, I didn't do that on this list. This is this is a quarantine uh, a quarantine expense list. So that is all we did. So for our grand total this month for March is twenty eight thousand seven hundred and seventy nine pesos, or five hundred sixty six dollars and thirty four cents, which is really cheap compared to what we usually spend because we do go to Medellin in our property. We go up there and visit her sister and things like that. So um, that is our expenses, and uh, I don't. I'm going to cut this short. I want to make another video uh, about our quarantine and with some updates on that. So check out our next uh, video after this one here. Uh, so I'm going to cut this one short. I'm Kelly with Anna Kelly's Philippine Adventure. See you next time. Bye bye.